What's up everybody and welcome back. Today we are going to meal prep something that is vegan friendly, gluten free friendly, heck it's just friendly all around. Some spicy red lentil pasta with roasted cauliflower and kale. What? Yep, that's what I said. Are you ready to do this? Let's get started. All right, so the thing that's gonna take the longest um, is the cauliflower. So I have one large head of cauliflower here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the oven, get it roasted, and then start on the pasta. All right? So let's go ahead and keep this pretty simple. We'll use about one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of black pepper, about one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. The only kind of salt I ever use. Just mix that all around. Everybody has to get some. Come on now, share the spices in the oil. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes on 400 degrees. So I found this pasta in the store and I was like, red lentil pasta. I've actually never eaten lentils, so this is gonna be a first, all right? So let me give you a little bit of the macros on this. It's about 190 calories per serving, a half a gram of fat, 32 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of protein. Wow. So if you're looking for a vegan option or vegetarian option and you don't want to eat meat, then lentil pasta will be a good substitute. And uh, it even has three grams of dietary fiber. So Sounds to me like an all around good choice. Let's go ahead and get this in the water and start boiling it and then work on our sauce. All right, so while the pasta is cooking, about five to six minutes, follow the directions on the bag. And if you're wondering where I got that pasta from, it was Trader Joe's. Let's go ahead and get started on the sauce. I'm gonna use about two to three cloves of garlic. So we're gonna lightly chop this. All right, I'm gonna add this to a pan with about two tablespoons of olive oil and this red onion. All right, so when I'm meal prepping, I always have some kind of trash bowl. That way I don't have to keep running to the trash can. I can keep my area clean, so here's my bowl. So this is gonna be about one cup of onion. All right, I can hear the timer going off for the pasta. Let's go ahead and take that off. I kind of want it al dente, so let's get it off quickly. All right, let's go ahead and add a red bell pepper. All right, let's go ahead and add this to the pan as well and saute these for a couple minutes. So while the peppers and the onions and garlic were sauteing, the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and add some marinara sauce. So I'm using Victoria Marinara. This is one of my favorite brands. I picked this up at Costco. This one is about 40 ounces. Now you can use any other kind. I just like this one again because it's really good macros on it. Six carbs for each serving and two grams of protein. So we're getting protein everywhere we turn around. And then I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. I know, I know, in a pasta sauce, believe me, it's gonna be good. So let that saute and cook and marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes. Again, you still have the cauliflower that's in the oven and we're cooking and shaking here, folks. All right, I'm gonna add the same seasonings that I did earlier with the addition of some red pepper flakes. So we're gonna have a half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, one half teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and then we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of crushy red pepper flakes. Now again, this is that spiciness, so if you don't like it, you can either reduce the heat down by maybe like a fourth and maybe just use a fourth of a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes or omit it all together, but then it wouldn't be spicy red lentils, now would it be? All right, so we're almost done. Let's go ahead and put the kale in. I have the pasta to add, and the cauliflower is done and is ready to go into the sauce. It is coming together, folks, coming together. We're moving and shaking. We're making moves here. We're making some pasta. All right. 
Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. Oh, it feels so un- All right, so that sauce is a little bit thick. So if you saw me earlier, I saved some of the, the stock from boiling the pasta with. So one trick that I learned a long time ago is to save some of your pasta water. That way, if your sauce is too thick, you can add some of the pasta water back to it without losing a lot of the flavor. You don't have to use water to dilute it. So we'll add all that back in. That's a one and a half cups of pasta water. Let's go ahead and add one tablespoon of tomato paste. And I always buy things that say no salt added. I like to add my own uh, level of salt. That way I can control how much salt goes into a dish. That's one thing you don't realize when you're eating out is how much salt they put in everything. Now I didn't fully cook my pasta, so it's still a little al dente, which means it's still kind of a little bit hard, but I wanted to cook into the sauce, so I didn't want to overcook it and then it become limp. So we'll go ahead and add it to the sauce now. That way you can start soaking up some of the flavors. I didn't rinse my uh, pasta after it came out. I just drained it. That way the sauce will adhere to the pasta and won't you know, like run off of it. Oh, this is looking good. All right, let's go ahead and take the cauliflower out the oven, set it aside, let this cook for about five more minutes, and then we'll add the cauliflower to it. That way we won't overcook the cauliflower. All right, it's time to add the cauliflower now. I am excited. Are you? I am ready to chow down. My battery is dying, so let's get this moving. I'm gonna to top it off with some fresh basil. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna to top this off with some fresh basil. Do a little chiffon. I think that's what they call it. Chiffon cut, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and plate me up something. I'm ready to chow down. I topped it off with some fresh basil. Let's get it going. good let's put some fresh basil on top just because we love it all right guys let's go in for a bite mm. oh. totally vegan totally gluten-free I don't know what I was thinking that was so good guys you don't even miss the meat the cauliflower makes it really hearty I don't, I don't know what else to say, but go try this one, okay? Um, this was excellent. You got the red lentil pasta. Never had it before. I give it a thumbs up. We have the kale and the roasted cauliflower, the sauteed onions and red peppers and garlic. I'm about to tell you all what's in here again, but I don't care because this is good. What I mean, good. <laughs> all right, guys. If you like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know why you haven't done so yet, please do it. Hit that subscribe button, and when you do, turn on that bell notification so you can be notified when I upload. And again, if you have any comments, leave them in the uh, suggestion box down there below. That way, uh, I might do one of your recipe requests. Stay focused, stay positive, and keep it moving. I'll see you next time, folks. Good day, everybody. <laughs>